सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी वायर लूप एंड फॉर लूप एंड आई हैव गिवन एन एग्जांपल ऑफ वायर लूप ओके सो फर्स्ट हियर यू सी दैट वी हैव वायर लूप दैट वायर लूप फर्स्ट वील राइट द वायर एंड देन वील राइट द एक्सप्रेशन द कंडीशन ओके वील राइट दैट एंड देन इफ वी वील चेक वील कम इन टू दिस लूप एंड देन वील चेक दी स्टेटमेंट्स ओके वन ऑफ दैम विल बी ट्रू सपोज स्टेटमेंट वन इज ट्रू देन it checks all the conditions then once it's done it comes out of the loop and prints the value prints okay the condition it checks the condition then after that it comes out of the loop then it prints here for that is while loop here for for loop for initialization we'll write one initialization statement like i is equals to 0 or something like that okay now condition condition can be i uh, greater than or equals to n or uh, 10 let's say 10 then increment or decrement it can be anything i plus plus this is the example i gave so initialization we'll give some value to i then we'll uh, uh, mention the condition is it greater than or equals to or less than or equals to then we will increment or decrement or like 1 minus minus this is also it's two okay when this all conditions okay one by one one by one it will check first i is equals to zero it comes to the loop checks the condition and then it come uh, if it's true it comes out of the loop prints the value again it goes here again it goes here check this condition again it increments the value or increments or decrement whatever the condition is given here then again it comes back here it checks again it comes and prints the value so it's a for loop it's very easy and simple to write uh, unlike if uh, else loop you don't have to write so many conditions if uh, else if else in this one single line you can print okay this is for loop i'll give more examples so you clearly understand okay now see here we have a program to print a reverse of an integer okay so first uh, we have like suppose here you see the number is 23 okay i want to print reverse of this number this is the end number i entered so i want to print 32 i want the computer system to give me 32 so we'll write a program for that see here hash include stdiodot h int main head of files and whatever we are writing this we have to write declaration int main we have given okay come on this is a basic steps this is very basic so you have to know it now here int n comma r is equals to 0 here n is the number which ever we are giving we are entering n is here 23 suppose n is here 23 okay and this is r initially it is 0 okay initially it is 0 since we don't know right so initially we are taking definitely take uh, the value as 0 okay initially r is 0 now here you see print f enter a number enter a number here i entered 23 as you can see printer scan of print f scan of you know this is easy while n not equals to 0 okay n not equals to 0 so what is 23 23 is not equals to 0 right so the condition is true satisfies satisfies the condition is true n is not equals to 0 so when this condition is true it comes out into this loop here see here we'll do the condition and finally we'll get the answer see here this is the this uh, the logic with which we'll reverse a number remember this r is equals to r star 10 r r is equals to r star 10 what is the current value of r 0 right so 0 star 10 is 0 okay now r is equals to what is the current value of r 0 right 0 plus n percent 10 n percent 10 so now here see n percent 10 to the 20 we we'll get 3 okay this is reminder is 3 right reminder is 3 so that's what we are writing here n percent 3 reminder is 3 We got R is three. Okay, now current value of R is this one. Now n is equals to n by ten. N by ten. So that is what two. Two. We get two, right? 
okay not 2 now current value of n is 2 okay now again done again we'll go back here r is equals to r star 10 now current value of r is what 3 so 3 star 10 is equals to 30 right again r is equals to r 30 plus n percentile 10 n is what 2 right so 2 divided by 10 0 0 2 so we'll get 2 what is it 2 right we got 2 we have to check the remainder right percentile means remainder so here we'll get this 32 okay 32 we got reverse number we got 32 again when then again it checks the conditions now n is equals to now the current uh, value of n is what 2 right so 2 by 10 it does so what does we get here in quotient 0 that's it n is equals to 0 see here first we took r r value we know has a r0 we took r0 r into 1 r into 10 we got 0 okay then what did we do then we uh, took that value here plus n percentile 10 n percentile 10 means what we have to check the remainder so what did we get in remainder 3 no so this value is 3 we get 3 we added it to the remainder we got 3 here now n value n is equals to n by 10 n by 10 means we have to take the quotient value here n is equals to 2 that ended okay now again it goes here Go see. Now, current value is of R is what? 3, right? So, again, it's 3 into 10 is equals to 30. Then, we'll get 30, right? Again, R is equals to R plus. R is 30, right? Plus. Then, N percentile 10. N percentile 10 means, what do we get now? Since current value of N is 2, right? So, 2 percentile 10 we will do. So, we will get this. So, 2 plus 2, 32 we will get. Again, current value of uh, N is what? 2, right? So, 2 divided by 10. Is equals to 0 so here now condition n is equals to 0 so that's it, it comes out of the loop this is false right so it comes out of the loop whatever answer we got here you see whatever answer we got 32 right it prints so this is the condition you have to remember for the uh, reversing uh, integer like uh, if you get 23 it have to print 32 or any other example i have taken this since it's easy you can take three digits four digits or something it just process gets lengthy but this is this is the same logic though how many numbers we take same logic applies so thank you for watching